In this week's quick tutorial, we're going to be looking at creative portrait retouching with very simple steps and turning this image here into this image here. Let's dive right in. Okay, so that's us now in Luminar. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to crop this and I'm going to crop this down to four by five. And I'm going to go just about there. I'm going to go quite tight with this one and just take it over to about there and then click apply. So that's the image that we are going to be working with, which may be different from the image I showed you simply because it didn't record the first time I did this. Now we have the duplicate feature in here now, which is duplicate layer. And we are going to make two more copies of that. And there we have it. We've got two more copies of the layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to soften these layers incrementally so that we get the blur effect. We're not trying to emulate any lenses here. We're just having a look at creative portrait retouching. Now it works with color and it works with black and white and I'll show you with this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into structure and I'm going to pull the structure right back and you can see quite a soft image. You get the idea where we're going with this. And the other thing I'm going to do is go into details and then I'm going to pull the medium details back as well. And then I'm going to pull the large details back. Now you can set these to whatever you want. I'm over exaggerating everything for the purposes of this video. Next thing from details, I am going to go into glow and I'm soft focus and I'm just going to take it to 10. That's the effect we get. That's the top layer. Now, that's the most blur that we're going to create in this image. So I'm now going to move that one to the bottom, which you'll see you can do now. And this is the really good thing about the new update. This layer here we're working on, we're going to do the same, but not to the same extent. So I'm going to get into structure. I'm going to pull it back to about, say there, 80. Boost that slightly. Uh, get into the details, pull them back, so say just there, let's just go for that just now, just for the purposes of this, and then go back into Glow, which is already at soft focus, and just do that, and that gives us that effect. Now that's the second one, we move that there. So this is the layer we are going to be working with, and we're going to do the opposite here, but we're going to do it subtly, we're going to overemphasize everything. So we're going to get into structure and we're going to boost it slightly. Not too much at all. Then we are going to get into the details and I'm only going to boost the small details here, but I'm going to boost them quite a bit. I don't want the skin to come out too much, but I want the eyes to come out. From here, we're going to jump down into the face and I am going to enhance the eyes quite a bit because we won't drawn into them but we still want them to look fairly natural and then I'm going to add some iris flare to this as well let's see how much we can get away with with this perhaps a bit too much but I'll wait to see the effect and I'm going to improve the eyebrows on this one as well just a wee bit darker and that's simply because I'm turning this one black and white so from here we now start to blend these together so if I go back into layer properties and I get into masking and I take the brush and I've got my brush set at paint and I'm ensure you're on the top layer or you won't see this happening. So I'm just going to paint in the eyes and a bit of there. And you'll notice I'm doing this randomly. I'm actually going to take the brush size down. We don't want a structured effect to this. We want it to be quite random. Let's just pick out a sharp bit in the hair there. I'll take the brush size down actually. And I'll take it up a wee bit more. We'll just frame the face with a tiny bit of sharpness. That there, and you can see that that cheek is quite soft compared to the rest of the area. So we're looking for a slight randomness with this. Jumping into this layer here, what I want to do is again, mask it, brush, paint it in, but I only want certain areas painted in. Now the second layer is the layer with the lesser softening effect. So let's just now take it back slightly there, maybe a bit in there, uh, maybe just for that image there. And this is random. This has to be totally random. 
So you're not, as I said at the beginning, you're not emulating any lenses at all. And let's just bring it in a tiny bit of the face there. And again, that's working great. So we go back down to this layer and you can see everything there. So if I hide these layers, hide and hide layer, you notice that that one is the softest with the most effect. If I bring this one in, show layer, you can see that it sharpens ever so slightly. If I get into the masking and I click show, you can see the areas, it should be subtle. Turn that back off and then go back in here, show layer, and you'll notice that that's out there. Perhaps we need a bit more in here, so let's go into masking, brush, and let's take the size up a bit and let's just paint some of that in further. As I say, it is random, and it's meant to be random. It's not to emulate any lens at all. And what we can do here is we can go into this layer here, which is the sharpest layer. We can get into masking, we can take the brush, and we can take the strength down by quite a bit. And I'll take the size down as well. And I'll just do that, just a tiny bit there. Maybe a tiny bit in there. But that's it, I'm not going to go for any more than that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where it's been painted. Now that works lovely like that image there and I do like that. And to be honest, I want to put in a vignette in this as well. So I'm on the base layer. I'm going to click vignette. I'm going to choose the subject, in this case, which it has to be the eyes or the face. And I'm going to drag that back just to see where it's going. That's working okay perhaps a bit too much, but I'll leave the emphasis there so that you can see it working fine. What I'm also going to do with this layer is I'm going to go black and white. Now, I like it in colour. I just want you to see it in black and white. Convert to black and white. So now you can see it's fairly random in its approach. And this one here, I'm going to convert that one to black and white. So there you can see the two layers that are already black and white and the final layer that's the sharpest is only that area there. And then I'm going to change that one to black and white. Convert to black and white. So that that's the resulting image we are left with. Now we can do a bit more to this. We could go back in here uh, to the base layer and we could go into develop and we could bring the exposure down slightly push some smart contrast in there and that will emphasize it even further. We can play with the shadows and the highlights in this case because it's the back layer I would play more with the shadows than anything else. And get into that layer there. Again, go into enhance, develop, bring the exposure down slightly, smart contrast even more about there. Shadows I would leave into the top layer back in here and so on and so forth and you can see what you can do with this and it does create a really nice effect. I am going to play with the smart contrast and this one just to overemphasize it for you. So you can see there how much that overemphasizes it. So I'm going to leave it at that for this one. Hopefully you got something from that and hopefully it's something perhaps that you will try for yourself with your portraits. Now it's not a new technique, it's a relatively old technique and it's just something I thought I would show you in Luminar because I don't think I've seen any videos on it. So hopefully you did get something from that. Videos have been very infrequent recently and that's just simply down to health and work and the, the workload has been really really good and it's kept me going and health has kind of counteracted that but everything's back on par now so there'll be more videos coming out. I'm hoping to have another video out on Sunday or Monday of the week coming and that will be a review video, that's a lens review. So the channel's made up of the landscape, the editing and reviews and whatever else I feel would be valuable to you as a photographer and editor. So hopefully you'll tune back in for that and as I say, hopefully you got something from that. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.